all right everyone here's the iPhone 10 very slick looking one thing I will say with this phone so far um, after having it for uh, two days now um, is the size of it is um, just so much better uh, comparison to the 7 plus I'll put them side by side so you can see but the phone is actually a bit smaller um, it's a little bit th uh, more narrow but the screen size overall screen size is much larger on the 10 you'll notice here how um, if you tap the phone to wake it it's locked and then it becomes unlocked that's because the phone is recognizing my face as we speak and all I need to do um, once it unlocks is swipe up and it would unlock um, if I uh, lock the phone and I will turn my head and we'll come around the other side I will wake the phone and you'll notice that it stays locked I can swipe up and it's asking me for a face ID it doesn't have the face ID so then it's instructing me to put in my passcode now if I come up to the phone as you can see put my face in front of it and locked automatically I didn't enter in my password or do anything the very cool feature of this is the face ID is extremely easy to set up I've never had any issues with it the only time it, the phone won't unlock when it's locked is if sometimes if my my finger is above the camera I can't read the face ID so if you're blocking this at the top then obviously it won't be able to do it um, but as you can see it's unlocked again it's waiting for me just to swipe up so it swipes up the face ID is nice because it's it's really um, much easier to, to unlock the phone um, that way um, hands can be tied filling out paperwork uh, going through a home whatever it is that you're doing um, it's just a much easier thing to to handle with no home button um, you can't press the home button and the side button for a screenshot so if you're thinking about getting this phone I highly recommend that you pay attention and you can use the volume up in the side button and take a screenshot that way. Um, I find it a little bit easier than doing both, especially because the home button I found is what closes the apps. And sometimes if you didn't hit it at the same time, it would close the application that you're in. So this is a much easier um, process and going on each side of the phone. So far, I haven't had any difficulties with it. I found it to be kind of neat. One cool little feature here is they've really utilized the space on the top of the screen. Um, yeah, they obviously had to keep this part um, available for the camera and sensor and speaker, but um, they were able to put the time there and the Wi-Fi connection and battery. The other thing that you're going to want to do is the control center. You just swipe down from the right to get your control center. And one thing that you may not know is um, some people um, I've run into ask me, well, how do I airdrop people because the airdrop feature is gone? This was in a an update not too long ago where they kind of removed that. It's still here. You just force touch and it gives you a few more options. You can do hotspot, airplane mode. Everything is here and your airdrop function is there as well. Any one of these things you can try doing the force touch. So with your music, you can force touch and get a few more features there. Your screen mirroring as well. So one downside with this is you cannot have the battery percentage show on the top. This um, was concerning for me because I always like to see the battery percentage that I'm at. But a quick workaround for that is if you just swipe down it, it gives you the percentage there um, anytime you're swiping down. So um, I have found myself in the last couple days swiping down to check the percentage. But I would imagine over time that I'm probably not going to use that, that feature or function. Um, a whole lot. Um, Apple has really hit a home run with this. They um, came up with some kind of sizing that I think is the best of both worlds. The 7 Plus that I have is, a little, like I said, a little taller. It's a little wider and um, I like the size of the screen, but the trade-off for the bulkiness and trying to reach the top was um, a little bit much sometimes. And I found in the two days that this is uh, much much better phone to have the sizing is pretty much perfect the screen size is amazing and one of the cool functions that you have um, when you uh, 
use your phone and this is in the updates is the Animoji feature and you can have these animated um, and it uses facial recognition so as you see as I'm talking the animals are talking as well and what you can do is record a message to somebody so I'm gonna send this to my brother let's see what did the fox say and send that and and so it's kind of something cool that you can have fun with um, that uh, is just a kind of neat feature one thing you'll notice too is to because there's no home button to exit out of an app you're just swiping up from the bottom um, it's a really really cool feature um, at first I thought it was going to be a little bit odd uh, using it but it took me no time to get used to it one of the other cool things is because the phone is glass on the back okay it's um, they did that for the wireless charging. So I got a wireless charger here that um, just kind of plugs into the wall there and basically you just set the phone on and it will um, start getting a charge and charge. Um, charge overnight or you know have one at the office. Um, it's just kind of really cool. And then the cool features at the bottom um, obviously just tap is you hold it down for the camera you got ins instant access to your camera and same with your flashlight so the flashlight is a big one for me especially going through homes you want to check out an electrical box or a basement or you can't find a light switch in the furnace room um, this is a really handy one to have right there um, and it's quick and easy uh, one other thing that I would like to suggest before I leave you is this um, case uh, normally with my phones, I like to have no case, I like to live on the edge. And um, I find that you don't need to really have a case. You wanna show off the phone. In this particular scenario, I would strongly suggest the case just because the front and the back are now glass. So I'm sure there's gonna be um, some breaking points there. But if you notice here, I'll just put this in to the phone is that this case here this is the leather um case that come you know apple case you can get the silicone whatever if you notice here that the camera does not stick out on most of the other phones especially in the 7 plus you get a camera in it, or a case and it fits around the camera nice but the camera still sits out you see this one the camera actually sits in a little bit and so that's really going to protect the camera when you're setting it down it's nice and flat there's no movement side to side and whatnot so it's really gonna make the experience a little bit better and a little safer for your phone. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short review of the iPhone 10. Um, send me any questions or comments you have or any pics of your phone. Thanks for watching.